Let's see what we got for the Scorpio. Scorpio. Let's get some mixed messages for the Scorpio. <clears throat> Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio! Scorpio, 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 let me get three more for the Scorpio, please. And there we go. There we go. Oh no, we got four more. Okay. What we got here? Okay, Scorpio, I'm seeing you are a true beauty from the inside and out. Okay, know that you don't have to put up with nobody's foolishness. You need to beware of danger. You got some shady friends. You got some shady company around you. Okay? You need to start believing what you are shown about people. Okay? You also need some alone time to yourself. It's time for some quiet time and time for you to connect with you. Okay? You bomb as fuck, okay? Boom. Boom, okay? But listen, you also have some good friends, okay? Um But I'm 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 intuitively feeling that you know who the shady friends is and once you know something you need to believe what you're shown. Um because there could be danger afoot. Okay? We have teacher or a coach. You may be meant to teach and lead or coach people through things here. Okay? It's time for you to compromise. You may need to meet in the middle about something that you have going on. Let's get some stargazing messages. But definitely watch out. Things don't look too bad, but it's always a danger having some shady friends because these people are close to you, okay? Sometimes you can't play around with that. Sometimes you got to believe what you're shown if you're being shown things over and over and over again. Um, but you got some good friends, though, so you know. If you must, you know, kick it with somebody or or whatever, um, do it with them. Not these shady bitches. Not these shady bitches. Cause you don't want nothing to boom blow up in your face. That ain't going to be good. Okay, let's get some stargazing messages for the Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, you can um, have Aries within your chart, okay? Um, or you may need to... Okay, you may have Aries in your chart. Okay, uh, Aries could be a shady friend, or Aries could be one of your good friends, okay, you may need to compromise and meet in the middle with an Aries, okay, or you need to step into the Aries energy here, okay, and become a leader, okay, be more assertive. Okay, I'm seeing people are competitive with you, these shady friends of yours could be in competition with you. 
okay and you being stubborn not believing what you've been being shown about these shady shady you got a gemini here okay a gemini could be a shady friend a gemini could be a good friend okay you may need to meet in the middle and compromise with a gemini you can have gemini and aries how we aspect it in your birth chart check it out okay okay i see you're very talkative okay you could be superficial okay communicative you're connected okay you could be connected um be connected to people online here through phone through mail know that you are connected uh you could be a missing there could be a piece missing to your puzzle too as well okay you can be curious about a lot of things you could be very social but i am seeing here that you are restless okay we have the saturn return so you're paying your dues you're you're having a wake-up call right now it's time for you to grow up it's time for you to clear things from the past it's time for you to face the truth, okay? It's time for you to get stripped down, okay? You're aging here. We have solar eclipse, okay? So a shocking event is coming up. So fast changes, a new chapter. You need to leave what all is familiar to you, okay? You could be feeling lost right now. It's time for you to reinvent yourself. It's time for you to awaken, Scorpio. And y'all will transformation. Y'all rule transformation, okay? So here we have the semi-sextile here, okay? So it's allowing opportunity with some effort here. So you're going to have to put in effort into this change here. It's for the potential for your growth, okay? You could have, you may have tempers, um, okay? You may be going against the, the tide, so things are not being uh, done with ease. Okay, there's a lack of ease here. We got the blood moon, beginnings, endings, shadow work, emotional cleansing, a reset, spiritual growth here. You have a lot of emotional baggage, Scorpio. Okay, and it could be destructive for you. Okay, unexpected situations could be coming up here. We have Virgo. Okay, maybe an unexpected situation can come up with a Virgo. A Virgo could be a shady friend. A Virgo could be a good friend. You may need to meet in the middle with a Virgo. You may have Virgo <laughs> highly aspected within your chart. Gem no. Scorpio. I don't know why I'm about to call you a Gemini. Um, okay. I'm seeing here you could be humble. Uh, or you need to be humble because you're very critical. Okay. Um, you could be a perfectionist um, and want things to be very perfect, but we know that's not how things go. Okay, you could be very insightful too as well. Pay attention to detail. You could be very analytical. You need to focus on your health. Okay, we got the fifth house. So any of these signs can be in your fifth house, Aries, Gemini. Virgo, okay, your fifth house, talk, you need to check your chart and see what sign is in your fifth house here. That talks of your love, your romance, um, you know, how you have fun, uh, your creativity, what entertains you, you know, your dating life here, what will bring you joy. We have the wanting, excuse me, we have the wanting moon, okay? And that's calling for you to surrender and go with the flow. Let go and move on. Rest and recuperate. Let fate take its course. Okay? We have the eighth house. Okay? And then the beginnings again. Yeah, it's time for things to end. It's time for a lot of things to end. It's time for you to do a lot of uh, deep shadow work. A lot of deep emotional cleansing. Uh, it's time for you to grow spiritually here. Um, you could be in the occult or not, okay? Okay, you could obsess a lot over certain things, okay? You may have a lot of secrets, okay? 
You're very intense. Okay, there's mis there's a, a mystery about you. Okay. Um, we also have the tenth house here. Okay, and that talks about your career, your reputation, what you would be famous for, what your legacy is, what's your public image like. Okay, what's your status? What is your purpose here? Okay, what is your achievements, your power? What type of empire is you trying to build? Okay, and you may need to get into the occult, which would be cool for Scorpio because y'all already in y'all water sign anyway, so y'all intuitive. Okay, and Scorpios is like death and transformation and things of that nature, so you may can build a uh, a legacy within that a career within that um whether you want to or not i'm just you know reading what comes out here we got the flower moon so we have here okay beauty okay this is the right time for you to wash away that sorrow okay and celebrate and heal so that you can grow and so the things that you want and the seeds that you have planted can manifest okay we have capricorn here capricorn can be in your chart capricorn could be a shady friend capricorn could be a good friend you may need to meet in the middle with a capricorn okay but that talks of your ambitious okay it's time for you to get serious about uh what you want to do um i see that you are hard working okay um you endure a lot okay you're very wise too Okay, you may need to discipline yourself here. We have the first house, so check and see what sign is in your first house too as well. Uh, in your first house, eighth, eighth house, tenth house, and fifth house, it could be Capricorn, Gemini, Aries, Virgo, or it could be any sign. But in your first house, um, that this talks about your beauty and your ego, okay? And beauty then came out here a couple of times, so Scorpio, you's a beautiful being, okay? You are a gateway. Okay, it's time for you to become cautious, conscious, co conscious of your identity, okay? Listen to your body and your body's needs more, too, as well. Your soul has returned to learn many, to learn many lessons. Okay? So you haven't been here before. We got the opposition. So you're, uh, you, you are unbalanced right now. You call out, okay? You confront. You got, you have power struggles. You're going through different tests. Okay? Okay, you could be a mirror for others too as well. And others can be mirroring what you are back to you. We got Libra here, so that talks about love and being balanced, so it's time for you to be balanced, it's time for you to be more graceful, um, be more honest, okay, you could be very indecisive, you are a sweetheart though, but it's time for you to get into that peace, okay, because there's different partnerships coming up that you may need to compromise and meet in the middle for, we have Grand Trine here, so you're being blessed with good luck, uh, you're going to receive your gifts. Uh, you will be a huge success with little effort uh, as long as you come into harmony with self um, and, and trusting yourself here too as well, okay? Yeah, you need to definitely take a deeper look into your health and your diet, your daily routines as well your work habits you may you may have pets or you may want to get some pets um you need to work out more uh develop different skills okay and get more organized we got at the bottom of the deck uranus okay so unexpected surprise and suddenness revolution uh freedom okay you are an original Okay, so you might be gaining some type of insight, okay, on the upcoming uh, surprise, okay?
we have here Scorpio. Be impeccable with your word. Uh, become a white magician. Listen. <laughs> you supposed to be part of the cult, baby. And that's, that's deep within Scorpio and this alchemist. And you could be a witch or a warlock. Uh, Virgo, that came out. Um, yeah, become a white magician. All the magic you possess is based on your own words. And you cast spells all the time with your opinion. You can either put a spell on someone with your word, or you can release someone from a spell, okay? So your words are very powerful, and watch how you use them, okay? You could be putting stuff on yourself here, and putting stuff on others uh, with your mouth. So you, but you have to be careful with that, because you are powerful. You can speak these things within, uh, into existence here, the power of the tongue, okay? Always do your best. Don't overdo, okay? So don't overdo it. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and go against yourself. So, yeah, it's calling for you to listen to your body here, okay? And it will take longer for you to accomplish your goal when you do that, okay? Then we have here, be impeccable with your word. Read. Mm. My ears is itching, sorry. It says, realize the power of your word. Okay, and this is talking about be impeccable with your word. Listen, your words are powerful. Okay? <coughs> Ooh, Scorpio, your words are very powerful. You have to be careful for what you speak. Your word is the power that you have to create, okay? It is a gift that comes directly from Yahweh. You are gifted with mm, heavy power at a time. Hmm. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, Scorpio, be careful what you speak. Mm. Shoot. The reading that I'm the reading that I'm get off of this, you might like, say something that might happen so fast or pop up. Like, uh uh. Mm mm, Scorpio. Mm mm. Yeah, Scorpio. I'm seeing here you out of touch, you're closed minded, and you resisting change. Mm, you finna be shook, okay? Caught off guard with something. Again, uh, something unexpected gonna go down. It might leave you unsettled. You ain't gonna be able to believe what you heard. Okay? It could be something about a bay. Okay? Or you could be somebody bay. Okay? We got a humble brag here. You don't need to be so obvious. Read between the lines. <laughs> we have here shipping okay so somebody believes in a relationship between you two and they wishing that you were two would stay together and partner up okay somebody wants to be your bae okay somebody wants to be your baby if you was my baby Yes, you got the green light, go for it, extreme satisfaction, approval, yes, extreme liking, if you was my baby, so, honey, 
uh, Virgo could be liking you, uh, Capricorn can be digging on you, uh, Libra could be digging on you, uh, Gemini can be digging on you, uh, Aries can be digging on you. Okay, yeah, it's time for you to wake up and become more self-aware. Squad! Okay, so you got to click a friend that you need to reevaluate and look at the reality of things within these friend groups that you got. Okay, some of them could be part of your, your, your soul tribe and be a team player, and some of them shake to boot. Get rid of them. Go Okay, <laughs> but listen, we got filter here. So yeah, you need to filter these little shady friends out too. Okay? And you could be filtering yourself, you know, trying to make yourself look better. Um, you could be trying to sugarcoat the truth of how you're feeling here. Let's see, what else, Scorpio? Listen, but you be on fleek, though. <laughs> ah, Scorpio, you be on fleek, okay? Okay, you be having that feeling like you got it going on, and you do. Okay. You got it going on. You got it going on. Bullseye. Okay, bullseye. Scorpio, be on fleek. <laughs> Let's see. What else do we got here? Goals. Goals. Okay, you could be wanting what somebody else has or somebody could be wanting what you got. Uh, what you're trying to attain could be expressing jealousy here or what someone else is trying to obtain that you have could be expressing their jealousy here. Throw shade. Listen, you got people throwing shade left and right, or you be throwing shade left and right, okay? So somebody could be being rude towards you, or you could be being rude towards someone, okay? Somebody could be trying to be slick, disrespectful, and insult you, okay? Okay, somebody, okay, we have Bench in here. Somebody could have tried to put you on hold. Uh, they had potential, but... Uh, you, you probably not sure about them yet, or they not sure about you, okay, they've been waiting, okay, it's like a maybe here, okay, somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side, and the grass was bushy, okay, the grass was racking on the other side, <laughs> the grass was racking on the other side here, Okay, the grass was ratchet on the other side. That person was unappealing, nasty, inelegant. Okay, or you were. Okay. Mm. Yeah, they want to swerve this person. Or you want to swerve because you feel like this person too ratchet for you. You trying to swerve, change directions. You no longer interested or... They not interested, okay? So you're going to dismiss them. You're going to dismiss their ass. Okay, yeah, some receipts here, okay? You've been needing answers, and you getting the receipts to all you need to know. And you like, oh, I can't even. I can't even. You can't even deal with that situation no more. Okay, you don't know what to say or do. Shaking your head. You just like, wow. Oh, they got... You finna cancel a bit, Scorpio? You finna cancel a bit? You know what came in my mind? That that movie. Oh, what the fuck? It, oh, excuse my language. Excuse my language. Excuse my language. What is that movie? When he be oh, New Jack City, pouring the liquor. You gonna cancel somebody? Get you another one? 
okay so you're dismissing somebody or a situation rejecting somebody or an idea okay you just not interested anymore okay after gaining clarity and getting the receipts that you needed to get all right let's get you some affirmation messages scorpio Let's get you some affirmation messages, Scorpio. Affirmation messages for the Scorpio. For the Scorpio. For the Scorpio. All right. I am connected. I am blessed. I am a healer. I am intelligent. I am wealthy. I am becoming, I am the lion and the lamb, a lot of power here, a lot of power here, let's get you a journal Scorpio, time to whip out that notebook and do some work, time to whip out that notebook and do some work here, okay. And repeat those affirmations to yourself, you know, speak nicely to yourself because there's power within your tongue. So whatever you speak over you as well could come to fruition, honey. Let me get a soul truth journal for my Scorpio, please. Let me get a soul truth. Let me get a soul truth. Journal for my Scorpio, please. Just one. Let me get a soul truth. All right, now we got on who am I placing blame right now? Okay, get you a journal and jot down on who are you placing the blame on right now. A person who blames others has not begun their lesson. A person who blames themselves has begun their lesson. A person who blames no one has finished their lesson. Okay? Okay? You, when you point your finger at others, you know, that's not good. What's that old saying? You got fingers pointing. A couple fingers pointing right back at you. And it says a person who blames themselves has begun their lesson. So, uh, when you uh, put the fault on you, you're beginning to learn. Okay? And at the end of the journey and learning, and you know not to blame anyone because it's not their fault or your fault, you're ascending, you're learning, you're growing, you finished your lesson, okay? So it says here, take responsibility. On whom are you placing blame right now? Today, free yourself by releasing all victimhood, blame, and resistance. They don't belong where you are going. Only love and courage live where you are going. Make a choice to do it even if you don't feel ready. The time is now. Listen to your heart and be led. Listen to your heart and be led. Alright, Scorpio. Alright, Scorpio. Let's get you some letters addressed to you, Scorpio. What letters do we got for my Scorpios? What letters do we have for my Scorpios? What letters do we have for my Scorpios? bottom of the deck dear you what's in your heart and money will come what will you give to the world how how are you making your mark you are so needed so scorpio you and your gifts that you hold they are so needed that knowledge you meant to teach and be coaching other people okay so we have here dear you trust yourself trust your intuition do not ignore it it'll cost you later that is your guide it will not harm you but 
protect you. Trust yourself, okay? Dear you, I know you're lost right now and things can get kind of scary, but don't be afraid. Y'all's with you and this is the best part. You're working to discover your life purpose. Know that you are safe. Dear you, open your heart and open your mind to all infinite possibilities. Don't close yourself off. Take the blindfold off. It's beautiful out here, baby. We have here, dear you, no one's going to hand you a ladder. Create your own. If you want it bad enough, you got to build your own. Don't be discouraged. You can do whatever you set your mind to. Infinite being. You are an infinite being. We have here, dear you, be kind to others. Be understanding, empathetic, compassionate, be helpful, be loving, be courteous, be polite, and give someone your smile. Play your part. We have here, dear you, you can change your life. You hold the power. Powerful. All you need is the will to do so. It's up to you. So tell me what you're going to do about your life. Dear you, are you hiding yourself trying to blend in? At at, you were made to shine and to shine bright. No more playing the backfield. To the front stage you go. Time to go. Let's go. Dear you, do not fight. Dear you, do not sacrifice yourself for others. Their weight is not yours to carry. Unload and focus on you. You'll thank yourself later I gotta fix that we have here dear you you need Yahweh Elohim to heal and open your mind and heart do the work go in build that bond you can't lose plus it'll give you the love of a lifetime he is the way he is the only way we have here dear you the only way out is through Feel each emotion. Gain what you need to gain and release. You will come out stronger and more knowledgeable. It's all for your for, for you to grow and evolve. Let's get some music for the Scorpio. 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 Shuffle with songs that resonate for the Scorpio, please. Alright, we got Bottom of the Deck, Summer Walker, and Bryson Tiller playing games. We have Billy Ellis, Your Power. We have Little Sims featuring Cleo Soul, Woman. We have Jamie Foxx, Do What It Do. We got DJ Khaled featuring Lil Wayne and Gunna freaking you. We got The Gap Band outstanding. We got R. Kelly down low. We got Silk Let's Make Love. We got Melly and Six Black. You Ain't Worth It. We got Sam Smith writings on the wall. We got Rod Wave Tombstone. We got Kyler I England Battle Cry. And we got 
Can the man try me? Okay, so it could be something within the song title or within the lyrics. That's your playlist. Go on and check out those songs. And you know we gonna end it with some grateful heart messages. We gonna end it with some grateful heart messages for you. I tell y'all, these girls are getting on my nerves. Now it's getting on my nerves. Alright, let's get some grateful heart messages for the Scorpio, please. Okay, can we get some grateful heart messages for our Scorpios, please? Grateful heart message for our Scorpios, please. Grateful heart messages for our Scorpios, please. Let me get let me get one more, please. All right, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. So, we have here, the Lord will fulfill his purpose for you. Well, the Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Mm. Yahweh will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Yahweh, endures forever. We have here, I meditate on your name all night. Yahweh treasuring, treasuring your revelation, O Yahweh. We have here, Yahweh is magnificent. He can never be praised enough. There are no boundaries to his greatness. We have here point out the road I must travel. I'm all ears, all eyes before you. We have here Yahweh has done great things for us and we will and we are filled with joy. We have here careful careful for nothing, prayerful for everything, and thankful for anything. Okay? And then we have here, Yahweh is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my, my Yahweh, my strength, in whom I will trust. Okay, we have here, give your burden to Yahweh and he will take care of you. Okay, so you need to drop some burdens, Scorpio. We have here, Yahweh is near to all who call on him. Okay, and then we have here, I will sing of Yahweh's unfailing love forever. We have here, oh, give thanks to Yahweh for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Some people grumble that roses have thorns. I am grateful that thorns have roses. Okay, so it's all about how you perceive and look at things too as well, Scorpio. So, we have here, for I know the plans I have for you, declares Yahweh, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Okay, we have here, in repentance and in, in rest is your salvation, in quietness and trust is your strength. Okay, so it's time for you to repent, get in solitude, get in quietness, okay, nestle up with the most high, okay, and trust in your strength, trust in the strength that he will provide for you even if you don't have it. We have here, Yahweh will guide you always. So he'll always be with you, guide you always, okay? So, Scorpio, I hope you all received a message from the reading here. Uh, again, thank you all for listening. Blessings to you all. Love you, and I'll see you later, Scorpio.